Welcome back, man. I sure hope you enjoyed the weekend. Yesterday, wearing up to 65. Today, mid-60s again across much of the Treasure Valley. Doesn't get better than that in February of all the months. February is when we hit the 60s. All right, let's take a look at our, at our forecast, see how long this weather is going to hang around. We'll start with our current conditions. 62 is where we're at right now in Boise. 61 in uh, Mountain Home. We're at 61 in Ontario as well. We're seeing a band of showers pushing in. We could even see a little bit of thunder out here. A little bit of convective activity being noticed here on the radar. So uh, not looking for anything real serious here, but definitely warm enough to start getting some more active weather. Up in the mountains, 45 from McCall. We're 44 currently in Stanley and 48 in Sun Valley. Tomorrow it's going to be pretty breezy across the deserts south and west of the Treasure Valley. And for that reason, the National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory for all the areas shaded in blue. If you're heading down uh, US 95 tomorrow, watch out for wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour. Uh, it could be pretty bad if you're driving a high profile vehicle. Again, this is in effect starting tomorrow morning, continuing through tomorrow evening. So again, be careful if you're heading out into the Oregon Outback. All right, looking across the region now, we're seeing those scattered showers pushing in from the southwest. All their weather has been coming from the southwest, bringing a very mild, moist Pacific flow our way. That's why temperatures have been so warm. This is a nice shot of the storm. You can see the center of circulation still off the coast of California here. But it's a nice warm air surging north with this storm. Seeing some lightning around uh, San, Fran or not San Francisco, but Reno and up in the Sierra Nevadas as well. So definitely a, a nice mild storm, and again, it's all heading up toward Idaho. So looks like we'll be getting wet tonight, uh, probably by this evening here. We could see a few scattered showers pushing in. Our future cast shows the showers coming in and then continuing through the overnight hours. Definitely going to be wettest tonight as this first main brat, uh, batch of showers comes through. On Monday, we're just going to see scattered showers, you know, off and on. Off of the mountains, they'll be on more than off. Down in the valley, they'll be off more than on. Uh, definitely looking at those scattered showers throughout much of the day, though. As we head into Tuesday, just a few lingering showers up in the mountains, getting pretty quiet down here in the valley, definitely by uh, uh, Tuesday afternoon and into Wednesday. All right, here's the setup for tomorrow. Again, nice storm coming in, bringing all this mild and wet air across Idaho. So. Look for temperatures to be warm once again. They won't be into the 60s tomorrow, but they'll still be well above average for this time of year. Let's take a look here, a quick tour across the state. Looking for mid to upper 50s tomorrow with cloudy skies and rain showers passing through. 57 for Meridian, Caldwell, and Weezer. 58 in Vail, Mountain Home up to 54. Up in the west, central mountains, we'll see cloudy skies with rain likely. It's going to be wet up here, folks. Uh, not much snow unless you're willing to go really, really high up the mountain. Uh, 47 for Idaho City. That's pretty warm for February. And for the South Central Mountains, same deal. Cloudy with rain likely. Could see a few rumbles of thunder tomorrow afternoon. Uh, temperatures into the 40s. And for the Magic Valley, same deal. We're looking for mostly cloudy skies, a few rain showers, possibly some thunder here as well. Uh, but I'm not expecting any severe weather. Okay, let's take a look now at our seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. And we do expect the nice weather to hang around. Tuesday, maybe a lingering shower or two, but even Tuesday should be pretty quiet. By Wednesday, for sure, nothing but sunny. We're going to keep that sunshine around. We're going to keep the warm weather around. We'll be back up into the 60s by this weekend. Meanwhile, in Boston, they're getting hit by their third foot amount of snow. Uh, three storms, each dumping a foot on Boston within the last two weeks. I've never been more grateful to not have that much snow. And those 60s, 50s, looks really nice for next week. Thanks, yeah. Adam. Well, coming up next, if this warmth has you itching for the backcountry, a growing number of Mongolian-style yurts offer spectacular views and easy camping for winter adventurers.